Hello and welcome to the Scanbot SDK YouTube channel. Today we will show you how to integrate our web Scanbot barcode SDK into a simple web application by following the steps in our integration guide. First, let's take a quick look at the project structure. We have prepared a simple, plain JavaScript application in advance. We have the main HTML file inside the project which contains a title and a button. We have a click listener for the button which is currently empty. When clicking the button, we will implement the functionality to display the barcode scanning screen. Let's begin the integration. We will select the web platform here and proceed to the getting started page. Since we are using a plain JavaScript application without a bundler, we will download the Scanbot barcode SDK using the following approach. We will copy and paste the script tag into the head section of my HTML file. This will automatically download the SDK when the page is opened. Before we can use the SDK, we need to initialize it. We will also include the initialization snippet in my app to do that. We will extract the initialization part into a separate function to improve the code structure. Since we are working with a plain JavaScript app, we don't need the engine parameter. Also, we will leave the license key empty. The Scanbot SDK has a 60 second trial period, so we will take advantage of this for the simplicity of this tutorial. Now, we just need to call the initialize scanbot SDK function in the body of our script, and the initialization is complete. Next, let's implement the barcode scanning screen itself. We will refer to our documentation and proceed to the barcode scanner UI page. There are some mandatory parameters, such as the container ID, the on barcodes detected callback, and many optional ones. Let's begin by defining the div container for our scanning widget. We'll place it next to our button. As mentioned in the documentation, we need to define a configuration object. We can now pass the container ID from the div we created. Let's review the parameters once again. Additionally, we need to define the callback for the on barcodes detected event. After each scan, the callback will provide us an array of scan barcodes we need to process. Let's define the callback function itself. We will call the show result function with the array we received from the scanner. With our configuration object ready, we can now call the scanner. Here, we pass our configuration object as a parameter. Since we want to hide the scanner after the scan, we need to call the dispose function afterward. Let me copy that code. Therefore, we need to keep an instance of the scanner object to use later. Now, Let's implement the show result function. First, we will create a container for the result text. Inside the show result function, we will assign the first barcode from the array to a variable. Then, we'll create a paragraph element and set its text content to the barcode's content. Let's display the barcode symbology first, followed by the text value. Finally, we need to add our paragraph to the result container like this. We are ready to test it. Let's try scanning a barcode. 
allowing the permission, and it works. The barcode is scanned and its value is displayed here in the text label. And that concludes today's video. We hope you enjoyed it. We look forward to seeing your incredible web apps utilizing our barcode scanning feature. See you around.